parents, you best hide your kids. And if you are a kid, you better hide yourself. Why, you may be asking yourself? Because of Fortnite. I've heard it from the most reputable journalists out there, top of the line. Who are these journalists, you may be asking yourself? Well, look no further than GMA. Good mythical, no, that's not it. Good morning, America. You're about to get woke. Hello, my name is Cat. And welcome to another episode of Let's Explore. And in this episode, uh, we are going to be watching uh, uh, one of the most ridiculous videos. I, I, I found it somewhere on Twitter. They posted this video of uh, Good Morning America. And the video is titled, What Parents Should Know About the Online Survival Game, Fortnite. So yeah, anyway, I didn't watch the video yet. I wanted to uh, do it on camera. Uh, but there was a little blurb about it and the, basically I guess in this video they talk about uh, There's a mother who thinks that she lost her kids to the game Fortnite and how kids are being Addicted by this game and it's ruining their lives and then they talk to some sort of uh, Psychologist or like child psychologist I think who's gonna come onto the program and, and and I don't know I don't know so we're gonna explore this together <laughs> and then maybe see where this leads. Our GMA cover story, a parenting alert about a popular video game so many kids are playing. The lady, the lady on, on the right, like she already, like it, she's already got that look on her face. Like why, why are we talking about this? That's right, Robin. Video games are facing some new scrutiny this morning. President Trump has announced he's meeting with video game executives next week to discuss violent content following the deadly Florida school shooting. This is oh my God. What do you mean? What do you mean that he's going to be? What did they say? What did she say that he's going to be meeting with who has announced he's meeting with video game executives next Video game executives? What video game executives? Who? That's some, like such a broad general term. Does Trump, President Trump honestly think that there's like a guy at the top of the, of the, of the ladder who's like the, the president, the CEO of all video games? What executive of what video game and what is this going to solve? It's not going to solve anything. If you want to be talking about real uh, addictions and, and, and stuff, towards children, let's talk about the super aggressive microtransactions and, and, and borderline gambling with loot boxes that are now being introduced in almost every AAA game. I mean, Hawaii has already taken action on that. Let's talk about that. Next week to discuss violent content following the deadly Florida school shooting. This is a new game called Fortnite is drawing millions of players and some parents are worrying their kids are spending way too much time at the controls. It's the online game that has fans in a frenzy. Fortnite's objective? Players in the game's free Battle Royale version join teams and battle up to 100 others to be the It's It's not 100 other players. It's it's 100 total. Last person standing. The multiplayer melee drawing comparisons to blockbuster franchise The Hunger Games. Millions of users, from kids to even celebrities like Chance the Rapper, Joe Jonas, and Steelers wide receiver... Yo, don't forget about my boy Drake! Juju Smith-Schuster caught up in the crane. <laughs> what? What? Schuster caught up... <laughs> I'm at this party right now. And all I'm thinking about is Fortnite. Oh my God, the addiction is real! For 40 million people in America play this game. So the crazy part is, chances are you know somebody who's enjoying it. And with the option for users to buy upgrades and bonus features. You can't buy upgrades. You can't buy, you can't buy upgrades. It's all cosmetic. Al already, we're only a minute and 12 seconds into this video and already, They've already gotten several things incorrect. Not big major things, but like, how can we trust anything that you're saying if you're already getting all these little things incorrect? The company reportedly raking in big bucks off the game's big buzz. It wouldn't surprise me if they were making hundreds upon hundreds of thousands on any given day. In fact, maybe even over a million. For some parents, Fortnite's popularity is now a cause for concern. I mean, I just love this game. It's great. So <laughs> you see that kid smile in the background? That kid's got like, yeah. I'm loving this game. And this kid is like, maybe maybe there are addictions with this game. I mean, that that's the Fortnite smile. Amy Selling says her kids are so caught up in the game, she sometimes won't see them for hours after- Oh, heaven forbid you don't see your kids for hours. Oh no. What's the problem with your kid coming home from school, making sure they do their homework and everything, and then allowing them to play freaking video games 
for a couple hours or more. What's the problem with that? She, like, sh that, she made it sound like that's the worst case scenario. She sometimes won't see them for hours. Sometimes she won't see them for hours. Like, that's, that's the worst case scenario. Sometimes she doesn't see her kids for hours, which means that she probably does cap them, uh, at playing for an hour or two hours. Don't make this into a big thing. Don't make it into something bigger than it already is. Don't make it, you know, like, it's, it's a big deal maybe to you, Maybe, maybe, uh, you know, your, your, your partner or, or, or significant other and it's between your family. Don't bring other people into it, man. And they slowly started to disappear. A Amy selling mom, Lulu and lattes.com. Oh, we can't, we can't not plug your, your website. Are you freaking kidding me, Amy? Around that time, I guess that's when they slowly started to disappear. She wrote about her experience. Slowly starting to disappear. Are you? Oh my god, dude. I cannot believe how big of a deal she's making this into. It's ridiculous. Experience in a blog titled, How I Lost My Children to- Oh, okay. So that's why they, they plugged Lulu and Lattes. Because she, she plugged it on something that is gift guides, rants, food porn, travel, fab finds, exercise mania, hot list, must watch, camp and store. And on this, this- wonderful melange of whateverness. Amy's got to talk about how she lost her kids to Fortnite. I cannot believe this, dude. I just, I can't believe this. Fortnite, the post garnering big response from other parents across the- You're probably asking yourself, what the yeah. is this game if you don't already know? Fortnite is a shoot 'em up strategy game, which is a combination of Minecraft and Call of Duty. Come on, Amy! Everyone's sort of struggling with the same thing. How much time do we let our children actually oh play this where they're not fighting and they think they've had enough time and I'm not the bad guy? No, I'm not the bad guy. Just this year, in a controversial decision, the World Health Organization officially recognized gaming disorder as a mental health. Oh my god! I cannot believe how freaking triggered I am in this video. Like, it's unbelievable, man. Gaming disorder as a mental health issue? Are you freaking kidding me, dude? This country already doesn't actually acknowledge mental health properly like we should be doing. We're not even going as far as to talk about the ways to prevent suicide. You know what we will talk about, though? Gaming disorders? Gaming disorder. Gaming disorder symptoms. Gaming disorder treatment. Another clue the person is addicted to video games, according to researchers at Kansas State University, is that they may play video games to alter their mood. Of course they're gonna play video games to alter their mood every once in a while. Who doesn't go onto Netflix or, 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 or YouTube or something to watch something to lift their spirits? Who doesn't read a good book every once in a while to lift their spirits? Who doesn't paint or draw or do whatever other freaking hobby you have? I seriously cannot believe this. The American Academy of Pediatrics advises parents to place consistent limits on screen time. You know, I I, that, I sort of agree with that any, uh, anyway, you know, like, there should be consistent limits to screen time anyway. I don't think that it should be insanely strict. Making sure it doesn't take the place of adequate sleep, physical activity, and other behaviors essential to health. But for worried parents, Fortnite's social aspect may actually have a positive effect. The beauty of video games is they're moving from being solo experiences to more social experiences that invite people to come together and bond over a shared positive activity. To further the discussion, let's bring in clinical and sports psychologist, Dr. What? At the beginning of this video, I said that I thought I said it was a psychologist, uh, and I, and I thought it was a child psychologist. I didn't think it was a sports psychologist. What the heck does a sports psychologist have to do uh, with gaming? I get that sports psychologists aren't strictly sports, but why is a sports psychologist coming onto GMA? to talk about video game addiction. Jonathan Fader, and um, Jonathan, thank you for joining us. From a clinical perspective, what makes this game different than any other games that we've seen before, and how does it affect the brain? Listen, when you mentioned Fortnite here in the studio, there were people high-fiving. I saw a bunch of teenagers in the studio high-fiving. This is a viral game. People are so into this game, and the thing that makes Fortnite so different is it's so interactive, Michael. It's so interactive, Michael. I mean, people can play duo as a team and really interact over the video game. It affects our pleasure centers of the brain that's what video games do and this one is really intense okay so um 
I get that. Like, video games uh, affect the pleasure centers of the brain. Uh, yeah, absolutely. But what I don't understand is, why is this one particularly intense? Is it just like the, the addiction of trying to get first all the time? Uh, getting new loot, getting new guns? Because that is a bunch of other games! Speaking specifically to Fortnite, how much playing time is too much time? Parents want to know. There is no right or wrong answer for that. What limits do we set? Well, the American Academy of Pediatrics says if your kid is five, two to five, it should be an hour or less a day. Okay, I, I kind of, I agree with that. I agree with that. With teenagers, it's really about the context. How does the video game affect their activities? Does it prevent them from getting their schoolwork done? I like that this guy didn't just spew out an answer, like word vomit. I, I'm glad that he didn't just go like, well, if it's two to five, it should be one hour or less. But if it's, you know, six to 12 years old, it should be, you know, no more than two hours. Like, I'm so glad he didn't say that. I'm so glad that he did talk about that there are different tolerances. <laughs> to prevent them from doing other social activities, you know. <laughs> so, you know, when you think about these video games, it's like, yeah, they, they give kids fun, but at the same time, let's moderate. I, I, I agree with that, man. You know, I heard two different things there. Like, that could have been like, like, yeah, this is fun for kids, so let's make sure we take it away from them, <laughs> you know? Uh, because a parent could hear that and hear the same thing, like, Okay, like all they're hearing are the the bad negative things, but I think what he really is trying to say uh, Is what she could have worded better. I think what he should have said Let's make sure we give kids the thing that they're having fun with But make sure they're not getting too carried away with it, you know And is it hard as a parent to find that balance with it's your kids? It's so hard. Games? I mean my kids play video games and what I do is I play with them I want to see what they're doing. I want to get in and, I mean, some of it is just fun. But I want to be there and understand how violent it is. And also, I want to help them limit it uh, themselves. It's a problem, too, because my kids use all of those devices for their schoolwork. And so, like, Mom, I'm doing schoolwork. Your kid uses the Xbox and PlayStation for schoolwork? They're lying to you. <laughs> so I always say you have to have a door open, and I have to hear, you can't have the headphones on, because if you hear that play happening, then you know, because they're just behind the screen, like, yeah. I'm doing my essay, <laughs> slash they're doing Fortnite, no right? No question, it's great cover. So what are, if there are any <laughs> benefits to playing video games? Look, I mean, there are definitely benefits. Uh, the thing about Fortnite is it's a multiplayer game, and what the thing that teenagers really enjoy about it is that you're actually talking to your friend while you're doing it. Now, so that's really one of the fun parts about it, and that's what sucks people in and says, hey, five more minutes, mom, 10 more minutes, mom, three hours more, you know. <laughs> it's that interactive component. A lot of kids who aren't connected in sports or other settings really find a social scene in that, which is as a benefit, but in moderation, it can really get out of hand. I don't, see, once again, we're getting back to the subject of what is the harm if it's not getting in the way of exercise if it's not getting in the way of uh activities like homework and chores and other things and if it's not getting in the way of like if like if they had real life friends IRL, IRL friends and then all of a sudden they started alienating everybody and isolating themselves from everybody then yeah obviously you, you would need to step in as a parent but if it's not affecting any of the areas of the of, of their lives like that in, in a negative way what is the harm? I don't understand. Can somebody please help me understand? Oh my God. Moderation being the key. And I like that you play with your kids so you know yeah. what they're doing and you- Come on. So you mean this guy, this guy is lying. This guy is straight up lying. There is no way in heck this guy is playing with his kids every single time they are, you know, playing video games. There is no way. You can say, hey, it's time to cut it off. Yeah, Michael, you play with your kids and also you find other ways. And if so, if that guy really is playing with his kids every single time they fire up uh, their, their consoles or, or their PC or whatever to play games, how bad would that suck? Ways to limit it. What I say is stop telling your kids don't do this. Mm -hmm. Tell your kids do this. Yeah. Give them the other activities. Give them other things to I can't decide what's worse. I'm trying to put myself in, in, in like my my younger self's shoes you know like i used to play zelda and stuff for hours and hours and hours and i did not want to leave my room like i i was like that you know playing it was it was between playing that or it was playing like uh final fantasy it's just usually the rpgs that really like sucked me in I, my mom always just told me you can't play you like you can't you can't play video games for for this much longer you know you're you're either commanding your kid not to do something or you're commanding your kid to do something. Both are equally as sucky. So anyway guys, that's the end of this Let's Explore episode. Uh, I guess to, to just, uh, in conclusion, 
like what's the big deal man i don't see the problem if it if it's getting in the, if it's f affecting them negatively like if anything was affecting anybody negatively of course there's a time for intervention or or for moderation or whatever it's funny because they opened up that segment by talking about this the shooting uh in florida they veered so far off course from talking about that though like it started off by talking about like is fortnite affecting your kids in a negative way i'm thinking that they're gonna be talking about is it gonna make them violent but instead they start talking about you know addiction you know this mom doesn't see her kids for for a few hours or a couple hours during the day so heaven forbid so anyway please share your thoughts down in the comments i would love to hear them and if you do like this video and you want to see some more let's explore please do me a favor and pull that magnificent like button because it means the world to me it really truly does plus it conveys the message that you really do want to see some more and down below in the description is a link to our subreddit on that subreddit you can uh suggest future topics for let's explore as well as joining our discord uh server which is also down in the description but i would love to hear what you guys want to see uh on a future episode until next time i'm booty cat and i will see you all later guys stay safe and goodbye